Hello all, I'm Miss Hanks. I'm going to be your 7th grade science teacher this year. A couple real quick things about me. I also teach high school biology and high school physics. So a couple of different classes um, that you'll get to see me in when you're a bit older. But many of you, for many of you, this is your first time seeing me, so welcome. <clears throat> a couple things for you. First off, my classroom is room 215. Uh, that is the upstairs room closest to the elevator, so I'm right up there. This year in class, we're going to be covering three different books that kind of cover real different topics. First book is called Chemical Building Blocks. In Chemical Building Blocks, we're going to kind of go over the periodic table, how to read the periodic table, <clears throat> how basic chemistry works, talking about mass, volume, and density of different elements. And then we're going to move on to cells and heredity, which goes into uh, cells and organelles, what cells are made of, <clears throat> um, and then it gets up into heredity, so we talk about DNA, we talk about um, how offspring tend to have the same traits as their parents, and then we get into human anatomy and health. And in human anatomy and health, we tend to focus on the musculoskeletal system, as well as the digestive system, the nervous system, and the circulatory system, as well as the respiratory system, kind of all intermingled in there. My expectations for this class. So in class, students are expected to be seated, pencil and paper out when the bell rings. Most days, if not all, I will have bell work up on the board that students are required to get out and get ready and get going on. <clears throat> so there's something for you to do as soon as you come in and sit down. Online, students are expected to be visible on Zoom, ready to learn by class by the time class starts. So whatever that is for you, if that's sitting at your kitchen table, if that's sitting on your couch, if that's sitting in your room at a desk, whatever that looks like for you, you're just ready to learn, you've got a pencil, you've got paper, and you're ready to go. Uh, textbooks should be covered at all times. They're a little older and they do need care. Now our textbooks we do have three different ones. We have building blocks, cells and heredity, human anatomy and health, which means that throughout the year, your textbook is going to change <clears throat> at least those three times. So please just know that. Please know that you'll have to cover chemical building blocks. And then when you get cells and heredity, you'll have to cover that. And then when you get human anatomy and health, you'll have to cover that, okay? These books are nice and small, so they're very easy to bring to class every day. So every day that you are in my classroom, you do need to bring it with me, with you, my bad. <laughs> you need to bring it with you. And every day that you're on Zoom, you should have it nearby. We do quite a bit of work out of the book, especially homework. And occasionally we'll have some days where we'll do some reading out of the text. And you do need to be able to have it with you to be able to follow along, okay? Uh, for my class, students are expected to act in accordance with the rules stated in the student handbook at all times. We're not picking and choosing rules in that handbook. We are trying to follow all of them, okay? And I just want you to know that and that you're ready for that. <clears throat> my contact information, please, please, please feel free to email me at any time uh, at taylor.hanks at jamesirwin.edu. There is one minor issue, well, two minor issues, really. I may or may not be able to get back to you right away, as I do only have planning periods on Monday or Wednesday, which means if you email me Thursday, or sorry, Tuesday morning, I may not be able to get back to you until Wednesday morning, or maybe even Wednesday afternoon. So I do apologize for that. You can generally expect a reply within 48 hours. If for some reason you don't, there are a lot of things that can happen. Our email system here has a really big spam firewall and it's crazy. So if you have emailed me before, and generally this is when it happens, you email me once, it goes through, you email me a second time, and it goes into the spam and I don't always catch those. So if for some reason you don't get through, please do go to a previous email that you've sent to me and use it to reply. And as soon as you use it to reply, <clears throat> instead of sending a new email, it goes right around the spam um, firewall, and you should be able to get a hold of me. Um, if for some reason I don't catch you within that 48 hours, just uh, assume that's what happened. You can definitely do that. If you need to call, 
Um, again, please make sure it is first thing in the morning on Monday, Wednesday, or very last thing in the afternoon, Monday, Wednesday, and I, I should be able to answer those. All right. Well, I am super excited to meet all of you new 7th graders. I hope that all of the rest of these little student, student orientations are entertaining and fun to listen to, and I'm so excited to see you here back in school. I'm super hopeful that everything is going to work out. Alrighty guys, you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye now.